met Ina at the supermarket. I couldn't find a gift for my mother for a long time, and she helped me. Ina was a tall blonde with blue eyes. She won my heart at first sight. With each passing day I was drawn to her more and more, and in time I realized that I cannot. I want to take her as my wife. Ina gladly accepted my offer. After our wedding there was no limit to our happiness. We soon found out that we were expecting a baby. And we became doubly happy. Every day I listened to see if our baby was kicking. Joint ultrasounds were for us minutes of endless happiness. We watched the development of our baby, his changes. It was the ninth month. I decided that I would take a vacation to be with my spouse before delivery and not to miss the most important moment in my life. Dima, hurry up and get over here. I think the baby is begging for the light. I rushed over to my spouse in a jiffy, took a couple of pictures for our maternity album, and a few minutes later in it took an ambulance to the hospital. I decided to follow them. Everything should be fine. My wife was having an easy pregnancy. My son came into the world full of strength, but the doctors had to fight for my wife's life. During the delivery some liquid got into Inna's blood, and she became sick. The doctor's words sounded like a verdict to me. I could barely hear them. My mind went blank and I was barely aware of anything. And the doctor went to the ICU to see my wife. I turned on the photo on my phone and looked at my Inna like an angel. I heard a commotion in the ICU, the doctors were shouting loudly, and did not understand what to do next. After a couple of minutes the doctor came out to me. We did everything we could. Your wife didn't survive, and your son is perfectly healthy. They gave me my baby, and I still couldn't come to my senses and understand what was happening. You want to go in and say goodbye to your wife. I held our son and tears rolled down my cheeks. Honey, don't leave us. My son and I need you. How are we here without you? My son suddenly started screaming. I flinched a little. It was my firstborn. Suddenly I felt breathing in the room. It was my inner. She started breathing. Doctor, hurry up. She's breathing. I shouted as hard as I could. The doctors were perplexed. The baby was taken to the neonatal unit. They continued to give my wife medical care. I didn't understand what was happening. This is the first time I've been in this situation. The doctor couldn't hide his surprise. A month later my son and I met her mother. She recovered and was perfectly healthy. And some time later we had two girls. Friends, believe in miracles, even when they seem impossible.